Hello, everyone. I'm Fred Studer, the General Manager of Microsoft Dynamics, and I'm joined here today by Matthew Widget, also of the Dynamics team. Uh, we're very excited today. You guys can't appreciate it. We've got a lot of energy in our live studio audience because of an amazing guest we have here today. We actually have uh, Jerome D'Ambrosio, who is one of the Lotus Formula One drivers. And uh, he's here to talk to us today about all the great stuff that Lotus Formula One is doing. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So Jerome, F1, it's, it, it's a very uh, high-flying, very popular sport globally. But from a driver's perspective, what was it about it that hooked you? Why did you get involved? When I was uh, eight or seven, I first had a taste of a go-kart. And, uh, and it's something it's hard to describe, but the first feeling I got from it was just something, you know, I was, I was into, into soccer. Most kids in, in, in Europe are into soccer uh, when, when, uh, when, when you're six, seven. And then I, I tried that and I came back home and I told my dad, look, forget about soccer. You know, that's, I'm not into that. I, I love racing. I want to do that. And I was fortunate enough to have a family that supported me into it and, and, and allowed me to start go-karting. Could you tell us a bit about the first time you sat in an F1 car? It was an extraordinary feeling. It's something very special. You don't, you know, it's, it's the pinnacle of motorsport. You will not drive a car in, in the world that's as performing as, as an F1 car. On one side, it was just fantastic. And what was, I was just thrilled about the experience. It was just great. And, and then there's another side of me was just really pragmatically thinking, Jerome, you've, you've got to make somehow, I've got to become a Formula 1 driver because it's just the best thing. There's, there's nothing, there's no other cars that gives you that feeling. Maybe you can just tell people, you know, what you do for uh, Lotus Formula 1. I'm uh, the third driver, so the test driver of the Lotus F1 team. When I'm at the track, I need to be ready to step in in case uh, anything happens to the, to the two race drivers. And then my main role is really back in the factory, working with the engineers uh, on the simulator and, and everything. So obviously everybody in the audience is a little bit jealous. I know Matthew and I are. Um, it, you know, you have one of the best jobs on the planet, and now you're adding to it that you know not only do you get to drive the car, sometimes you get to play in you know simulators, you get to work with engineers. I mean, that's like a Microsoft dream come true. So uh, tell us a little bit about you know what goes into that role as, as being one of the drivers there, and you know what what are your day to day responsibilities? Well, there's really I, I, I'd say that there's two phases in in, in my in my job, there's uh, the phase when I'm at the track. I'd say that I work next to the engineers, but I still listen a lot, try to, to pick up things from, from Kimi and Roma, so the, the two race drivers, because obviously you can learn a lot. Uh, Lotus is a big, Lotus F1 team is a big team, one of the top teams out there. But then back at the factory, I've, I have a much more active role uh, in the simulator, do lots of work with the engineers on that, and uh, for myself to continue grow, to grow as a driver and also help them in, in the best possible way. 